there's like a bunch of blurry iPhone videos and tales of paddle boarders going out. There's no like hard evidence that there's actually a wave. It's almost like when pirates used to go looking for treasure. Streets are tight today. It's Memorial Day weekend, so Jersey's packed. We got a fun one today. We are driving out to the radio station, 97.3 ESPN Radio, and we're gonna talk, apparently for an hour. I'm not quite sure what we're talking about. Um, everyone knows I don't know anything about sports, but uh, surfing is a sport. I always forget about that, because usually it just feels like a lifestyle. Hard to remember. Hard to remember that I'm an athlete, not just a vibester. <laughs> we are headed to ESPN Radio, meeting up with Brian Coulter. He's posing as my social media marketing team today. That's what he wanted to tell them. I told him he could probably just come as my friend. He is most notable for claiming that the Atlantic Ocean is Lake Erie. Nine out of ten servers will claim it. It's firing, but I'm claiming Lake Erie, boys. And then going on a road trip with me to Lake Erie. How's the vibes? Calm. <laughs> Scenic. So his entire life came full circle that day. Our whole childhood, he's been into sports. I have not. Now, going on ESPN Radio, I figure there's no better person to invite than my friend that knows everything about sports but has never played one. Let's go check it out. What are you most notable for? Um, Lake Erie. Lake Erie, boys. <laughs> That's what I said, what I told everyone. I, mean, I don't think that, but I thought that's what you would think, so that's the answer I want. What are we doing over here? We're getting the shot. It's just like auto settings. And then the football player's just there, dude. This is a big moment. 97.3 ESPN Sports. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting like blood work done at this building. It's giving me that kind of anxiety. Not media anxiety, but look at this place. <laughs> Doesn't it just smell like healthcare? Like... <laughs> That's great. You thought the same thing? Yeah. <laughs> Studio right here in Northfield, Philly, Schwab, and the producer Danny Ron. Danny, I guess the first hour is up. We'll get oh, more of your text messages read. <laughs> now, how do you measure weight from the front or the back? Those I measure them from the front. From the front. I measure the drop, right? Yeah, I measure weights biologically. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, I mean, you hear. Broadcasting live at the Tom's River Auto Group Studio in Northfield, Billy Schwan, Danny Ryan, the locker room, winding down a Memorial Weekend as we remember those who pay the ultimate sacrifice and keeping us free. And of course, today we have a very special guest in with us, a surfing sensation Ben Gravy is in here with us. And uh, we have a couple more questions real quick for Ben uh, that came over the text board. Yeah, the most recent one comes from a huge fan. He said, yo, Ben, huge fan. Favorite videos of yours are when you surf the waves off the ferry. What was that like? How did you come up with the idea? And what's it like being boys with Jamie O'Brien, LOL? Have a safe trip to Myrtle. <laughs> Sam from Avalon. Uh, yeah, um, cool, cool, man. That, was a, that was a terrifying uh, <laughs> experience surfing the ferry the first time because I thought I was going to get sucked up into the propeller. Um, I actually, I got the idea from an old friend of mine. His name's Scott Barry. Um, he told me about it when I was like 15, and I never did it until I was in my late 20s, but I never went and looked at it, and one day I rolled up and, and went down there and saw there was a wave, and I was like, how come no one's ever done this? Yeah, it's oh, I got one big, I got one last question for you, Ben. Where, where's the best wave you've ever caught in South Jersey? Uh, what's your favorite spot in South Jersey? Uh, I gotta say, El Slamo. El Slamo! It, it fills my heart with joy down there. <laughs> There's a reason he made a t-shirt about it. Come on. How'd it go? That was heavy. Heavy claims, big experience, ESPN, first time ever talking sports like that. That was crazy. 
what did you think about it? I thought it went really well. What's your claim? Thought the questions were good. Thought you guys kept the conversation going. Hour went by fast. Off to North Carolina. <laughs> Nub Nation, we've made it to our location. Heavy drive, but we are here, getting up early, so see you in the morning for the dream. I'll explain everything in the morning. Too heavy of a claim. Before bed, I'm gonna get too stoked, so see you in the morning. Good morning, Nub Nation. The dream is on. I sleep ridiculously well in this van. What's going down? <laughs> Give us an update, <laughs> dude. Uh, bacon, sausage, uh, burritos from Starbucks. And, uh, and the bulk trident. Bulk trident. <laughs> Where is it at? What's your goal today? Um... Get barrel. What's your worst fear today? Uh, roll the jet ski. <laughs> <laughs> like last time. <sighs> All right, we are here once again with Tanner hunting down the dream. If you haven't been following the channel the past few years, this might all be new to you, but if you have been following the channel the past few years, then you have gone through the strife, pain, and anxiety of this journey, and you know how important this is today. Here's a brief history. Came down, surfed the ferry wave, absolutely scored. Found out that there's tanker waves in the area. Came back down with my brand new jet ski. Drove over a rock patch with my brand new jet ski. Didn't get the wave. Literally watched the boat go by and we didn't get the wave. By the time we fixed the jet ski and got back out there, all that we did was watch the boat go by and we didn't catch the wave. We have been working on this for the past two years. I've been on my way down here multiple times and had to turn around because of scheduling conflicts, scheduling errors, boats not leaving, high winds, storms, the list goes on. But today is finally the day. We've got five mile an hour wind. We've got five boats potentially on the schedule. Some coming, some going, some big, some small, but we are here today to make it all happen. Thank you for being here with us. This is the dream. Today we are finally going to score the tanker waves of North Carolina. It's almost like a myth. Like there's like, I, there's like a bunch of blurry iPhone videos and like just tails of paddle boarders going out, but like there's no like hard evidence that there's actually a wave. It's almost like when pirates used to go looking for treasure, that kind of vibe. Now there's lots of pirates, pirates of the Caribbean. What's the history behind this? I'm hearing you've paddled it. I've paddled it multiple times and surfed it probably five times. I've been towed in on my John boat that we're taking out today <laughs> twice with my friend Eric. It was pretty crazy. <laughs> yeah. How big was it? It's probably like a thigh to waist high. Oh, when what? I, when I got it, yeah. You think it could be bigger today? Depending on tide, yeah. Wow. I've seen it going oh, wow. out. I've seen it going out like that. Oh. Really? Yeah, going out. Going wow. out on the lower tide, going, too. going out on the lower tide, yeah. This is like a this is like a myth. Like a <laughs> it's a myth. It is a myth. It's it's very difficult to get. You're probably not going to be able to surf this wave because it's too hard to figure it out. It is. It's almost like a uh, I don't know what to call it, but it takes it's... too much damn time to figure this thing out. <laughs> We've been I've been trying to get it for it's three crazy. years. It's crazy. <laughs> we probably studied it for like all during COVID. Yeah. And I was going out there, like paddling out. I see boats coming through and I paddle out. It take like 25 minutes to paddle out there. And it'd come through and it'd be like <clears throat> on these smaller waves. And we yeah. finally figured out that we needed a tanker. I mean, the, we have multiple, there's multiple coming in today. Yeah. But I don't think the tankers are going to do it. You know okay. what I mean? Yeah. You no, know, I've gotten a little, like a little oil tanker like he's talking about, but it was like knee high. Yeah. But you, you don't care. <laughs> Oh, boys. 
<laughs> Chilly. The clarity too, it's pretty blue. Alright, this just got real. Three years in the making. I am tripping. Wish us luck. Yeah, buddy. You all, baby, let's go. You started it with that? Yeah. You all, you all <laughs> Hop on here, buddy. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> you. Go on. Years in the making. Years. Years. Underway. Invader Zim. The reason I know this is going to go down is because Newark is in New Jersey. Get out of here. Yeah.
so absurd! Oh, you wanna switch? Uh, Good time to switch. Now are you? Yeah, no, 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 go, go. You sure? <laughs> Heavy flames? Shortboard? Shortboard? Wave of the day? <laughs> <laughs> There she is, the boss. Come on. Go on. <laughs> What's going on? All right, our phone's died, so Tanner decided to just go up to this random restaurant right here and ask this lady if we could plug him in, and she's absolutely loving it. Are you gonna, you're gonna, give, a, you're gonna give us a little bit? Of Publicity? Yeah. What, what are we promoting here? This restaurant. Jules. Are you the owner? I, I'm a sister of the owner. No, Julie, Julie would have a good time if she was here, yeah. You're pretty nice. So he's videoing, he's videoing. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah, there you go. Promote it. Okay, you gotta come to Jules at Bald Head Island. We're just a wonderful, fun place. Always willing to help anybody and win everything. Today is Memorial Day. We're blessed to have you guys here, and we're very blessed to serve those who have served our country. So y'all have a great Amen. day. Be safe out there. Go Thank you. Okay. Did you hear that, lady? What? She said, uh, we're really living the dream. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'd say you gotta feel good. Living the dream. I feel pretty good. <laughs> yeah. This is an experience. <laughs> What's your claim about this? It's Red Bull. <clears throat> What's it say? It's like we waited three years to do this, <laughs> and then once we did it, we scored it so hard because we're so prepared that now I want more. Now I want more. You know, I want it to be bigger. Bigger, better. <laughs> like I would have begged for any of those ways three years ago <laughs> when we got skunked. But now we're here, we got one more potential bomb. So wish us luck. Here we go. <laughs> Cops slowed him down. Those waves were too big. Too big. 
Dude, there he is, people. The champ. All right, ladies and gentlemen, three years in the making. It's weird, the spots that we thought were gonna be good weren't good, and the thought the spots that we thought weren't gonna be good were good. Pumping. We got minute-long rides, lefts, rights, straight, absolute dream scenarios, a couple sketchy scenarios, all in all, more fun than I've ever had. Patience is the key, baby. Three Let's years, go. three years <laughs> we've been planning this. Three years, and we made it happen. It all came together today, and guess what? Way out there on the horizon, there's another boat coming. Oh baby, the SC Mara. <laughs> Wave of the day. Yeah, but we're pulling up on the dock. The amount of miles left in the gas tank went away, and then the Eli came on and it was beeping low fuel, low fuel. That got pretty gnarly for a minute, and we had about two or three miles left, and that was happening. So we made it. Oh. Wow. Oh. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <I> don't work. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was so heavy. Took the ski down to zero gas. How do you feel about today? Man, thank you, man. <laughs> <laughs> Three years in the making. We made it happen. I can't wait to see some of the footage, like see how big the waves actually looked. I know they weren't huge, but we absolutely scored. All right, absolutely amazing, absolutely amazing. I can't even believe it's real. Driving out of North Carolina right now, completely mind blown. Years ago, I would have given anything to score those waves. And today, it seemed almost too easy. Just wanna say thanks to the boys. Huge shout out to Tanner for making it all happen. Chris, Joey, and Blake. Thank you, Blake, for shooting. I'm pretty tired right now, so I might just be totally rambling on, but what an amazing experience. Every time that I experience something like this, it just brings back that joy to my heart. Like, this is what I dreamed of doing seven years ago when I started this channel. This is the kind of stuff that I thought was out of reach. I thought it was impossible for me. And here I am getting out there and actually doing it, actually accomplishing it, actually riding these waves that I've always wanted to ride. Riding those waves that everyone's always looked at just was kind of like, you think that's surfable? 
and we're doing it. So I just want to say thank you to everyone who's been supporting the channel and following along. If you're new to the channel or you've been watching, you're not new to the channel, but you're not subscribed, please consider subscribing. If you want to support the channel even more, you could like this video or leave a comment in the comment section below. I have a eight hour and two minute drive left back to New Jersey. As of right now, current arrival time, 3.51 a.m. Am I gonna make it? I don't know, probably not. But I just wanna say thank you. We did this all in 30 hours and I'm on my way home. So just wanna thank everyone from the bottom of my heart. Thank you. Thank you, North Carolina. Absolutely honored. And the main thing that I wanna give thanks for is it's Memorial Day Monday today. And I just wanna thank every soldier who gave their life for this country so that I can live the life of my dreams and that I can chase my dreams and follow the American dream. So thank you to the troops. Thank you to the fallen. God bless the families of every military active or veteran. And I just wanna put that out there. It's Memorial Day, dedicating this one to the people that gave their lives for this country so that I can chase my American dream. That's about as powerful as it gets for me. So thank you everyone. Tanker Waves, we did it. I got a couple more that I'm looking at. So we got South Carolina, North Carolina, Pennsylvania, Texas. There's gotta be more out there. We're looking for them. Thank you to everyone who supports the channel, who supports what I do. And uh, hopefully I see you soon for the dream.